ballerina shoes are not for skating. Okay? Those invisible socks, get the f out of here with those. Hello YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today, I'm gonna be talking about this. What are the right socks to skate? So, as someone who works with skates every day, being here in the shop, something that happens quite often is someone come here and they say, oh, I don't know which socks I should use when I go out skating. Should I use uh, thicker socks? Should I use lower socks, high socks, super high socks? Well, I think it all depends. But, when it comes to the height of the socks, what you should know is that your socks always need to go over the skate. So, if you're skating a speed skate, you can usually skate something like this, which is those ankle socks. They go a little bit over your ankle, or some of them just get like mid ankle, but the skate, the top of the skate, will end up before the socks. Well, you might ask, what about invisible socks? Those things that look like ballerina shoes, you know what? Get the f out of here with those socks. Those are not socks. If you don't want your socks to be seen, then do like most of the speed skaters. Most of the speed skaters, they use no socks. But of course, it's not the same type of skate. Most of the speed skates, they're leather skates, and usually the top guys, they have their, their skates custom made, which means that that carbon boot that you see, it's made for their foot. And, in case you didn't know, Everyone used to say that speed skaters love pain. So usually their skates are super, super stiff, but they're all leatherish on the inside. And that's why a lot of speed skaters skate without socks. Ballerina shoes, mm, invisible socks, that thing doesn't exist for skating, I'm sorry. But if you do want to use lower socks, something like this, like those ankle socks, yes, they do work as long as you're not skating with a high skate. Like if you have a cuff, just like on these swell skate, if you have a cuff, you do not want to skate with this, because then the top part of the skate will be will be grinding your leg. So that's why sometimes you get like a, a burn on your skin, and that's when you should go for something a little bit higher, something like this. See, something like this. Let me try to think. Ah, uh, can't really take them out because they're new, but these ones go. So it's just like a normal sock. So they will go a little bit higher. Then, color-wise, <laughs> like if that really matters for skating, I don't really think the color will matter for skating, but the truth is, if you're skating new skates, if I were you, I would be skating with this. At least if you don't want to destroy your socks. Because usually, on newer skates, especially if they're not leather, even if they're leather sometimes, they're gonna end up losing a little bit of the color, especially with the with the sweat going inside and all that, so so white socks might not last as long in a good condition as darker socks. Then there's these ones. These are super super long. Something like the god socks. The god socks, like that's that. these are my favorite socks to skate nowadays. These are super super long. Which means, these are, I think they're called tube socks. So when you skate with these socks, a lot of the derby girls, they skate like these mostly because of their style, they like the way it looks like, kind of like that retro look, those, those super tall, super high socks with those two stripes, the retro look. But the thing is, if you're skating with this, especially if you're skating aggressive skates or something like that, you end up having shin protection. Of course it's not like against impact because I don't really see this material <laughs> protecting you from any impact but if you just like go on a rail or something at least you're not gonna get burned so this helps a little bit my favorite socks material wise well going with skinny like with super skinny socks or fat socks or thick socks as I don't know you want how you want to call it I think it all depends on you like for me I don't really like to skate with super skinny socks, but I don't really like to skate with thick socks. 
I'd rather go like with something in between and that's what all these socks are. Maybe the Kaya socks are a little bit thicker, but sometimes that's the way that you use to fill the skates. If you ask me, I don't think that's the best, filling your skates with, with more socks. I don't think that's how it's going to work because then your foot have like some difficulties breathing. So I wouldn't say it's the best to go with like thick socks just to fill the skates, but man, it's comfortable, that's for sure. If you use thick socks, that's comfortable if you use one pair. If you're going with two or three pairs, mm, I'd rather go with a smaller skate. Maybe that might be a better option. Material-wise, I don't have them here, but the best socks that I've ever tried were, f were from these bag brand called Chrome, and they were Merino socks. And the reason why they were so good is like, man, I could skate for like two, three hours. That's my feet were completely sweaty, like, I don't know, with any other socks it would be like bad. After that I would just take the water out of it. On those socks I would take the, I would take the skates off, I will be just on the socks for a little bit and they would be dry and they wouldn't be smelly. I don't know what those guys did with those socks but the chrome merino socks, they were sick. Nowadays I end up using this. Yes, they're not merino but they do work the best and if you look in my videos most of the times I'm gonna be skating this. So if you're looking for some socks that might be a good option. I think I've teach you a little bit about socks. Just don't forget, ballerini shoes are not for skating. Okay? Those invisible socks, get the f out of here with those. I hope you enjoyed this video and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But if you have ballerini socks for skating, don't do it please. <laughs> Cheers, see you soon.